What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this beautiful Wednesday night. June 8, 2022 is the date, about 7.24 p.m. California time. A latest quake shows some movement with a 1.6 earthquake here along the California region. Looks like a little bit of uh, uptick in earthquake activity around the area of Southern California. Looking at the globe, seeing a dramatic increase here though. Off the coast of, uh, looks like Costa Rica region, seeing quite a bit of swarming. Look at that amount of earthquake activity right there on the globe. That's quite a bit, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest activity. Actually, before we do this, I want to give a real quick shout out to the folks here that are members of this channel. We'll just take a couple quick seconds here to recognize these super fans. Um, still in SoCal, one of our newest members. Uh, I'm Jesse02, Julie, uh, Seismic Koi Wolf. We got two Roberts right here. You guys know who you are. We appreciate both of you guys. Uh, the Fly Lady, John. Uh, Jay Fuentes 347, Albert Sanchez Jr., and Dolores. Some of these guys right here, uh, one of our, uh, one of our, actually those guys right there are some of our longer time viewers first joining this channel. And of course, if you wish to join uh, and to get uh, some special perks and icons and emojis here on this channel, you guys are more than welcome to join this channel and to get to uh, possibly see some behind the scenes activity here with me and Miss Mimi's. Uh, right now, I'm kind of posting some uh, more personal type items here, gardening and uh, family family videos from around the farm here, the Earthmaster farm, so to speak. So uh, get in on the action and join this channel if you wish. And a big shout out to those super fans right now. All right. Uh, what do we got going on here? USGS not showing a whole lot here on this map where we've seen that swarming. So we're going to open up the EMSC model here real quick and take a peek at what's going on here uh, in the region. A pretty uh, pretty intense swarm of activity into the area down here. Let me, uh, let me see if I can zoom in here just a little bit more. Sometimes the EMSC model is a little spotty. Okay, so this looks like these guys are issuing um, a lot of this activity near the coast of Nicaragua. Uh, all of this activity within the last few hours, so quite a bit of swarming going on in the 2 to 3 range. There's been a couple 4s in there as well. Got a 4.2 there about 4 hours ago. So a lot of movement here into sections of the Middle America Trench, although some of this activity is not down there. It's not way down there that we would expect to see. It's more shallow movement up towards the subduction zone itself. Um, there is, well, these guys, uh, USGS, I, I really wish they would show more activity. Uh, but they're only showing one 4.2 there from earlier uh, into the Middle America Trench, about 15 kilometers. But we're seeing a lot of shallow movement off the coast here. Got to watch this area pretty closely. It's very capable of producing some major uh, strong quakes. This is a trench zone, a subduction zone. These guys, uh, or at least these subduction zones, are known as some of the strongest earthquakes on Earth. So got to be very cautious here because uh, we don't need a major tsunami up and down this region. That would not be good. Pretty highly populated um, tourist spots down there. Uh, what do we got here in Southern California? A little spotty activity on the 2.5 range. Uh, we had a 3.6 here north of the Garlock Fault structure. Uh, now I'm still not 100% certain which fault was struck on. Uh, I know there's some specific faults here, but I didn't get an exact... Um, area but uh, it's definitely up there in the mountains it's pretty shallow about 5.2 kilometers below the surface for a 3.6 far as specifics go looks like a few folks did report feeling this earthquake around the Bakersfield area um, and uh, within the region of the epicenter so yeah a little bit of uh, activity there boatfish area Lake Isabella Weldon uh, Caliente California couple folks there reported feeling that uh, earthquake not a big one but hey a 3.6 definitely making the news there and also some activity down here on the southern segment of the San Jacinto fault zone uh, this activity earlier uh, this morning but still right next to what do we got right next to it folks right you don't want to mess with this you don't want to see any type of activity very close to the southern segment of the San Andreas fault that guy or that girl However you want to pronounce it, that thing is sleeping. It's been sleeping for 300 and something years. Uh, when it wakes up, it will wake up with a bang. Trust me, it won't be no joke. 
Uh, latest Quake here shows some movement here, a 2.4 in the mix of the uh, activity here in Southern California. Just coming in here, actually. Uh, looks like 0.142. These guys are late. These guys are always late here. So about uh, 45 minutes ago or so in this area of Southern California, there's some of that activity swarming down here east of the Borrego Springs. Nothing spectacular down here around Salton Sea. Uh, area or the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault, but remember this is only about 10 miles here or so from that uh, major plate boundary that's been locked and loaded for many, many years. Uh, looking up north here into the, uh, kind of back, I kind of have to back out here to get the broader view of the wide scale activity that's kicking up here throughout the uh, portions of Southern Cal stretching into Nevada and Utah. We've got a line of activity stretching up here. And this area is always under quite a bit of dynamic stress here uh, from the North American Pacific Plate Boundary. And um, there's no major activity, nothing major. If you look at the 2.5 and above, nada. But there is quite a few microquakes out there throughout the desert of Nevada, uh, stretching up north of Las Vegas into portions of Utah. And uh, all kind of heading up towards the uh, Yellowstone area, but uh, not a whole lot going on up there right now. We'll check out the seismographs there in that state, in that area, in just a little bit. Pacific Northwest, actually, let's go to Northern California. What do you see? Nothing. Zip zero, nada here in this area of Northern Cal. Looks like, look, look at this, folks. <laughs> look at this. So, if you watched a couple of my videos, you know I've been talking about the lack of reporting here around the Cobb Mountain region over the past couple days. I'd say the last week, nobody was reporting any earthquake activity. So I started to check out the seismographs, uh, you know, the, the seis seismic stations here that monitor earthquake activity around the Cobb Mountain region, and I couldn't access it. That was from this morning, I believe. If you check that out, you'll see what I'm talking about. Then all of a sudden, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. A whole bunch of earthquakes going on up here on the map all of a sudden so either they were in a pause of productivity meaning the hydrothermal fields out here the cal calpine energy solutions that create earthquakes by injecting sewage raw sewage down below to create steam energy they found an excellent way humans are interesting creatures there's no doubt they are very some of them, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. But <laughs> these guys here figured out a way to produce energy by injecting raw sewage from all the folks down here in the Bay Area. Goodness. And uh, sticking it down there below the earth uh, into the hot area, creating steam and creating energy, but also creating earthquakes. So, But take note, it's pretty... It's, it's a pretty significant number right now. 26 epicenters of earthquake activity here around the Cobb Mountain area. And over the past week or so, they only reported maybe a handful. So it looks like those folks maybe might be watching my video. Um, who knows? But maybe they, maybe, maybe they had operations on suspension for a little while. I highly doubt that, though. Uh, Mount St. Helens, a couple, earthquakes at, uh, a couple earthquakes around the area. And also Mount Rainier as well. Nothing going on around Mount Hood, supposedly. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, nothing popping up here. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview here of the park. Super volcano. And this is what we kind of like to see, right? Pretty quiet conditions. Not a whole lot going on. No major swarms. No major catast catastrophe in the making here. I mean, eventually, someday, this thing's going to gonna pop and might uh, alter the world as we know it but right now no doom and gloom folks i'm sorry to announce that moving on past the yellowstone super volcano aside from east of the rockies here there's not a whole lot going on through the rest of the country uh, earthquake activity down here in the texas region though has been pretty uh pretty active definitely over the last seven days or so over the last 30 days yes a major uh area of movement here and most of this activity around you guessed it folks oil rigs oil now i shouldn't say oil rigs but uh, oil pumping operations out there their injection well process and all that stuff creating earthquakes and some of those have been in the fore range uh, nothing 
above 4.5, they're probably thankful for that. Um, but if we go seven days, 2.5 and above, we've definitely had a couple threes and twos. I know we've had more than that. Um, let's see here. Quite a few, a couple fours, 4.3 and some higher four. Where'd they go? 4.3. Okay. Wait a minute here. What's going on? This is a little fishy. Wait a minute. 30 days of activity. I know I didn't time travel. I'm not in the future. Could have swore I just talked about this in the past couple videos. Maybe I need to back out a little bit. That's right. So this area, <laughs> getting ahead of myself, this little area didn't see any four pointers, but in general, definitely in general here within this um, uh, oil filled operations, we did see some further fours. Um, and they're on there on the map 4.6 Western Texas, a couple other fours in the mix as well. Uh, I was just kind of zooming in on that one area. I was like, wait a minute, did these guys pull a little, uh, little magic carpet trick? All right, let's go ahead and back out of here. So activity definitely kicking up there in Texas today. Eastern part of the country, all quiet. Not a whole lot going on throughout the New Madrid zone. A couple of earthquakes up here north of the Puerto Rico Trench. You guys notice that? Uh, some upper fours. This is something you got to watch pretty closely here because this area is very capable of producing a significant size earthquake here. The dynamics uh, and the slip rate in this region can produce an upper seven or lower grade eight in this area the puerto rico trench and that type of earthquake here would not do good in this region it could produce possibly a tsunami along the eastern part of the coast and not to mention uh, around the um, the area of puerto rico and all the other islands out here this that wouldn't be good so kind of watching this little swarm of movement uh, that kind of took place here early this afternoon actually late afternoon time frame couple four point uh, upper upper four pointers so watch that pretty closely here that's no joke something you don't want to mess around with um, the rest of the area aside from the activity we've seen on the EMSC model some movement around Colombia and Venezuela this activity from uh, late last night and one earlier uh, this afternoon in, in the uh, Colombia range the rest of South America has kind of died down following that uh, movement we've seen there uh, well, a couple days ago, or I should say yesterday, right? It's been over 24 hours now since we've seen the, uh, well, the, uh, what was it? Six point, uh, let's see, where'd it go? I'll bring up the 4.5, uh, 4.5, 6.5. This was yesterday. I, sometimes I get, get ahead of myself here. Definitely, uh, feel, feel the, uh, Six, eight, that's right. It's just been over the 24 hour period. So, all right, so it's still on there, 6.5. And again, these guys adjusted that depth there a little bit deeper. It was 616 kilometers. Now it's further down there at 621 kilometers into that sub, uh, subduction zone. But since then, not a whole lot going on as far as the 4.5 and above goes. Looking at the big island of Hawaii out here, uh, typical movement, looks like about 21 earthquakes or so around the Pahalik, uh Hawaii area. We see this kicking up on the live seismographs pretty uh, dramatically. 2.5 latest quake there, around 33 kilometers or so into the typical um, zone that sees this activity that's been ongoing since about 1960 or so. One earthquake out here around the Kermadec Islands, still watching this area for a potential large scale movement. And a 5.0, 5 no, I'm not talking about 5.0, I'm talking about somewhere above a six and higher uh, for this region. We've seen a lot of adjustment down here south, a lot of adjustment here north, with only very minimal adjustment here along this plate boundary, which is a subduction zone. And uh, it really hasn't seen too much activity recently in terms of larger scale movement. Uh, a little spotty activity up around the bend here, up into areas around the India area. <coughs> Excuse me. And also way up north here into Russia. I've seen an earthquake earlier uh, actually late last night time frame. Atlantic Ocean all pretty quiet. Let's check out the tremor map tonight uh, looking at 12 whoop de doo right? 12 measly epicenters of tremor uh, underneath Roseburg. Roseburg, Oregon making up the map tonight. I travel up here quite a bit through uh, Interstate 5. 
I've stopped in there quite a few times for gas. I love the mountain ranges up here to the west and east of there. I don't really care for the valley. But uh, yeah, a little bit of trimmer activity up there uh, tonight. Looking at the, uh, we'll go ahead and pull up Mount St. Helens again because we, we kind of want to know what's going on there, right? Still earthquake activity. It has been going on for quite a few weeks now. Looking at uh, the latest activity here over the last couple hours, obviously. Seismograph readings there. Don't have to have a specific degree on your wall to figure out that these are earthquakes. Uh, looking at the previous UTC time, which is our afternoon and uh, evening time frame. Only a, only a little handful of quakes there throughout the region. One here as well, uh, afternoon time frame. But uh, uh, aside from that, not a major swarm going on. But then again, um, it, it all comes down to the transparency of reporting. I'm not for sure why they don't want to report it. But there's definitely a swarm of quakes there going on at Mount St. Helens besides this one earthquake that they've reported today. So we've seen a lot more than one on the map. Uh, solar weather activity, folks, there's not a whole lot going on throughout the region. We've seen that. Uh, earlier in the update, things are green across the board. If you're hoping for any any type of auroras, right now it's not going to happen. There is a little bit of amplification, though. Uh, KP index around 2 with a little bit of higher latitude possibilities. These guys are only forecasting a 15% chance. But sometimes we get these oddball space events going on and an opening in the, um, in the uh, magnetic field that allows solar wind stream to come in. Right now there's a little southward tilt. A little bit of speed elevation here, but the density and the temp all kind of minimal. Uh, so not expecting a whole lot of possibility when it comes to the uh, auroras up there at the higher latitudes. No major sunspots facing up us right now. Uh, we got a little one popping up. Earlier this morning, this thing was blank. So I'm surprised to see something pop up out of the blue. I was kind of looking at my screen here for a little bit. I'm wondering, is that a spot on my computer screen? Do I need to... Maybe go wipe it off, but as I move it, uh, I can see the uh, I can see the well-defined sunspot there. So uh, obviously it's circled. So all right, guys, have a good night. I'm gonna get out there and attend to the barbecue. And again, uh, we welcome all the members here to the channel. And uh, gonna be giving out some special discounts to those folks that want to join here on the channel. Uh, when include uh, to include like merchandise and also some free decals and whatnot. Uh, and we will be giving out probably some. Uh, some merchandise, uh, maybe whether it's a shirt or a hat uh, to those super fans that join this channel. So make sure you sign up to uh, be included in some of those perks that are coming up. We're closing in pretty closely here, folks, on 75,000 subscribers. It's getting close, but it feels so far away, guys. Got to make that happen much sooner. I'm hoping to get this. I was hoping to do this giveaway here come July, but... Uh, Let's see what we got. Let me see what we're at right now. Stand by for just a second while I pull up the subscriber count. We are at 73,861 subscribers. So we need a little over 1,000 more subscribers. And we can make it happen, folks. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you're, if you're just viewing this channel, subscribe. And... Uh, Make sure your friends and family subscribe as well. It helps out a lot, the YouTube algorithms, when you like and, and when you comment on this video and also when you share the video, whether it's uh, via Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all those social media outlets, whatever you guys use, make sure you share videos of the uh, Earthmaster on that platform, on any of those platforms, uh, which helps out the YouTube algorithms. So we can get to 75k we have stuff to give away and it's just sitting here <laughs> so let's make it happen soon folks uh we'll chat you guys a little bit later have a good night and please stay safe out there looks like a 2.2 coming into southern california right now stay safe guys peace out